Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. My friends, today I have yet another team by the amazing Mr. Kurtastic, who brings this this wonderful team uh, that consists of a Greninja, Annihilate, Ursaluna, Cresselia, Grimmsnarl, and Zapdos. Uh, I have words about this team, but first I would like to go and bring their words, his words, into, into this. He says, so I saw YKVGC had a Greninja team on their YouTube channel, but when I went to try the team, the rental wasn't available. Went ahead and built the team on my own with a few minor EV item Terra changes. So basically, he saw this team, thought it was pretty cool, made it better. The goal is to tear a water uh, the ape and hit yourself with water shuriken to get some fast rage fist stacks and covert cloak for no flinches. The thunder punch is also good for a quick KO on Watershifu. Very nice. Uh, Cress plus Ursa Luna are self-explanatory with EV, uh, EQ Levitate, of course, Earthquake and Levitate. Uh, and the Zapdos can be on the field with EQs and not care either. Just don't Terra or Roost first. <laughs> uh, and of course, Grim for even more bulk if needed. The other lead is Cresselia and Ape Ninja and you turn into Luna and set Trick Room. Yes, all in all, team isn't meta breaking, but a ton of fun to use. And my friends, I've given this team a couple of tries before playing uh, today. And yes, this team is a lot of fun to use. The Greninja you can U-turn out if you need a, uh, if you need to. It's fast enough that you can taunt a couple of things before uh, people do any kind of setup or healing or anything like that. Uh, but the main gimmick here is to water shuriken your annihilate, give it like plus two hundred power to its rage fist, and then just start start destroying everything. Right? Remember Mouse Ape? This is kind of like Mouse Ape, but in a way that I don't think your opponents are ready for, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna take this team into the battle arena. I'm gonna go and give it a try, and uh, let's see what we can do with it, all right? Follow me now, let's go. Okay, this battle against Damon is gonna go as well as it possibly can because we have Greninjape on our side. This is just how it's gonna be. Uh, not gonna bother looking at the rest of the team because I don't think I need to. No, that's that's not true. I am looking at the rest of the team. It looks pretty okay. I think uh, going for a water shuriken on the annihilate should be fine in the face of most of these Pokemon, especially with the annihilate being choice scarved. And then in the back, if all else fails, I'm gonna need something I think to take out the Chien Pao. That could be the Grim Snarl, to be honest. Ooh. Oh, I like Grimmsnarl on uh, against against Chimpao. That's pretty nice. Uh, and then we can go with something that's kind of quick, or we could go with something that's kind of bulky. But I feel like Cresselia uh, against most of this team is not really going to be doing too too much. Uh, so let's I think go with either Zapdos or Ursa Luna here. I feel like Ursa Luna is just usually the right pick, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go with Ursa Luna here. Bring the Zapdos uh, could be all right. It's just that if uh, the Landorus pops out, uh, then I'm going to be forced to go for Hurricanes instead of Thunderbolts, where I really want to be using Thunderbolts. Yeah. <laughs> Damon ran out of time. Ha! <laughs> if we're going up against Fluttermane and Chen Pao, then either they were just so confident that they put their switch down for a bit and they're like, yeah, that's that's the play. I can walk away from this uh, or they totally forgot how to play the game for a sec. That happens. That happens. All right, Damon, what you going to be? Watermain and Champ. Oh, there it is. The AFK pick of the century. Now, here's the thing. Um, I kind of, I kind of want to not water shuriken. I'm going to do it. I'm still going to do it. Uh, because the Chen Pao is. No, you know what I do? I'm, I'm going to try and take out this water man. Chen Pao is almost certainly going to be the focus sash target. So if I go and Water Shuriken my Annihilate, Terrastalize my Annihilate, and Rage Fist the Fluttermane, I should be able to KO it. And by should, I mean 110% of the time. What are you possibly going to be Terrastalizing right now? Yeah, that's that's that. Okay, into Terra Fairy, Terra Fairy Fluttermane. That is, that is fine by me. 
I'm going to terrestrialize myself. They're going to be like, what, what is going on here? <laughs> what is this? I've never seen this before in my life. They're probably going to be going for a big dazzling gleamer moon blast on the Annihilate, but I'm a fast boy, right? So my water shuriken uh, is going to hit my Annihilate. How many times? Four? One, two, three, three, mm. four, four times. So that's a lot of Rage Fist stacks, but that Dazzling Gleam's gonna hurt. I'm not faster than the Flutter Main. I kinda was hoping that I would be, but I'm not. It's fine. The Annihilate is bulky enough that it can take that. We're just gonna go for a big ol' Rage Fist on the Flutter Main that's gonna take it out. Bye. No Terra for you, my friend. No Terra for you. Okay, this Chempel is really gonna have to go for a big old uh, sucker punch and really hope that it takes out my Annihilate because you know what? They probably don't know. They definitely don't know that my Annihilate is, uh, is scarved. No, that's not true. They might, they might know. Mm. I was planning on going for a fake out there on the Chen Pao. Um, hmm. I think I still have to do it. Or I could take out the Amoongus. I could fake out the... Ch no, I could reflect here. And then just lean into the Rage Powder, you know? Because if it is a Rage Powder, then it's going to hit Amoongus anyway. I think it needs to hit Amoongus, actually. Because if I target the Chen Pao and Chen Pao lives at one, then they're able to KO my one. There you go, that's a protect. They're planning on on um, sporing. This is like such a half-baked idea, but I'm pretty sure it's correct. I'm pretty sure it's the correct move. Go for the big ol' Rage Fist on the Amoongus. Ah, it takes it out, bye-bye. Okay, let me, let me figure out what the actual correct play was. I know that was it, but let me figure out why that was the correct play. Right? Because they, by protecting the Chen Pao, they were probably going to spore with the Amoongus, putting my Annihilate to sleep. Okay? I could have been targeting the Chen Pao to break the Sash and to KO it. But uh, I don't need to now. Now I can just double target the Chen Pao just like last time. Or just like they thought I was going to do last time. Sucker Punch is <laughs> going to have to. I'm gonna have to do as much as they can. I love that the Chen Pao was on the field, by the way, because that just gives me, oh, didn't have Sash after all. I love the Chen Pao was on the field because it gives me uh, the Chen Pao boost on all of its friends, so. Okay, so that's gonna KO my Annihilate and just straight up miss the Grimmsnarl, and I love that. Yeah, there was a whole reason why I needed to make that play a couple turns ago. And I like that it all worked out. Steam's working great so far. Cute charm. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've never seen cute charm actually work in VGC. <laughs> Three years, four years of playing this game. Uh, and I have not seen cute charm work out one time. Anyway, so we're gonna go on that and we're going to. I could just protect. Yeah, let's see if let's see what happens. Let's just get burned. How to get burned. I'm obsessed with that one turn with the Amoongus, though. Because <laughs> they could have Rage Powdered and had both my Fake Out and my... Uh, not, not Fake Out, actually. That's that's over priority. Uh, could have had my Rage Fist go into the Amoongus, and then they could have tried to KO me with um, something that isn't, isn't Sucker Punch. Anyway, stop talking about it, Michael. Move on. Ursaluna is burned, and the Enamorous is at 1 HP. We win, right? We win. Just facade it. Uh-oh. Before it goes, Enamorous had to go and give it a be a curse. Let's see if I hit. I'm in love with Enamorous, and it, it doesn't care. It does not care that it's in love with it. 
because it needed to take it out. It had a job to do. This was a very Mr. and Mrs. Smith kind of situation. Anyway, Damon goes down. Congratulations to me. And we can move on to game two with a big old smile on our face. All right, let's go. Okay, and next up we've got Gudra. Gudra can still take a rage fist. Yeah, I think this works out just fine. We can we can keep this. I'm more than happy with uh, with what we've got going on here. The Dragonite isn't going to want E-Speed into the Annihilate. It'll Terastalize in that first turn. Nothing will happen. It's fine. And then what should I bring in the back? Ursaluna is, again, a really good pick for, for the rest of this team. We can Earthquake quite a bit of things. I think in this uh, match, bringing Cresselia might be a good choice, or actually Zapdos. If I just Disquake... Uh, both of them, they don't, Zapdos doesn't have Discharge. This one has Thunderbolt, but still, it doesn't matter. Point stands, I can still Earthquake against most of this team, just not the Dragonite. I don't think I'll need to. Yeah, let's just go with this. That sounds good to me. Let's give it a go. I think it's a really cool team so far, actually. I mean, Water Shuriken having that plus one priority is pretty huge, right? gets a little bit of, uh, to like the tiniest bit of damage off on the Annihilate. Ooh, well that's an Annihilate too. I feel like KOing that Gudra before it can be a Gudra. You know what I mean? So if I just go for uh, Water Shuriken on Annihilate, Terastalize, Rage Fist on this. I don't know if I want to target the Annihilate, but I don't think I do. Yeah, I think I just want to target that. Because really, what can they do first turn? I don't know what they can do first turn. The Annihilate might want to try to Rage Fist me back, but it wouldn't do all that much, right? Because that Annihilate's only got 50 power Rage Fist. Meanwhile, I have at least, at least 150, right? What are we Terrastalizing? Gudra. Are we going to take out the Terrastalized target? That's a fairy. I love that. I love, love, love that. Love, 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 love. So here comes a water shuriken. Change into the water type. That's okay. I almost feel like this Greninja shouldn't be Protean. But it doesn't really matter, does it? Anyway, got hit four times. That's a big Rage Fist coming. U-turn isn't going to do anything. It's just going to go back. So that Annihilate is a uh, choice scarved as well. And it just won either a speed tie or the speed war against my own cho choice scarf Annihilate. So spooky. Either way, this thing is going down. <laughs> this guy is going down. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never had such unadulterated joy. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is so great, because next turn I can just target that as well, unless the Annihilate comes back out and final gambits me. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But if it does, then Annihilate goes down, right? I can still break... Ooh, I can, I can just U-turn, right? I could U-turn, or I could just Water Shuriken. I don't see anything wrong with Water Shuriken here. Yeah. Uh, then we'll Rage Fist the Annihilate. Because if we win the speed tie, then we we break it. And if we don't have a speed tie going on here, then such is life. Okay. Four Shurikens to you. Thank you very much. Big ol' sucker punch on something that, you know, can't be sucker punched right now. There's the final gambit. So your Annihilate's gonna go down as well, okay? And I guess if I were to really think about it, going for a Water Shuriken on the Annihilate would have meant the final gambit did less damage. But I am so far ahead right now that I don't think I care. I really do not think I care. I could go for a Tailwind and make the Ursaluna a little bit faster, but it's not going to really do much. Um, yeah, let's go for Ursaluna here. Mmm, 
and Dragonite. See, Dragonite's different than what I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to Earthquake this turn, but I am not. So I think what I should do is probably U-turn this here. I will protect as well. Keep myself alive. Should be fine. It could E-speed me right now and just take me out. Oh, no, 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 but it's E-speeding the Ursa Luna. That's great. It didn't take out the Chen Pao, and I don't know if it needed to. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to survive at least a hit. We'll bring out the Zapdos. I suppose I could have attacked the uh, Dragonite there. Nice. Nice survival. Solid survival. Ursa Luna's going to get burned here. I think it's probably better for me if I target the Chen Pao. I know that the Dragonite's still at full HP here. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think KOing that is probably the right idea. We'll facade the Dragonite. We'll do half the damage because of multi-scale. Ah, perfect. Perfect. Now what's it going to do? Extreme speed the Zapdos? Yeah, okay. Does about half the damage. But it, that's still... It's still fine. Still two Pokemon on the field. It's still three Pokemon in my party. So we're, we're having a good time. <laughs> yes! Yes, this game is cursed. This game is cursed. It was probably inner focus. Let's call it that, right? Let's just hit her focus the whole time. We're going to Thunderbolt it. We're going to facade it. It's the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Good game. Good game, my friend. What a shiny Swablu. I like that. Oh, fun times to be had by all. <laughs> a crit facade from a moon bear. That's the way. That's the way moon. Uh, what's it? Moon hats are in the bogey sports shop right now. Go, go and support the moon. All right, folks, that's great. Let's go on to game three. Why not? All right, let's go against Jane here. Jane has so many things that's weak to water. OK, well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and bring that. Was there ever any doubt? There's a lot of things that are weak to ground as well. I mean, there are two things that are flying, three things that are flying. Probably not the best idea to bring in Ursa Luna, but I'm going to do it. Uh, and then in the back here, we have Cresselia. I feel like I didn't. Yeah, Cresselia is the only mon that I haven't brought out so far. Uh, and could I? If this is Water Shifu, then I probably could. Yeah. Yeah, let's justify that by saying that Moonblast hits uh, Dragonite, Urshifu, and I guess Chiyu, but not super effectively. Anyway, we'll we'll go for this. We'll go for this because I like we like this stock. We're going to go for it again, like super huge fan of, of this team. I'm going to say it again at the start of the next game. Uh, this team rocks. <laughs> I think this team is amazing, and uh, I want to give a big shout out to the person who made it. I just lost the rental code chat, so I'm going to have to find that while I play. Oh, it's Mr. Kurtastic. Of course it's Mr. Kurtastic. Was there ever any doubt? We can go for a water shuriken here on the Annihilate. We can go for a Rage Fist. Yes, on the Golden Go. The Golden Go? The Golden Go. We just do it all over again, all over again. Because they never see it coming. They have no idea what's going to happen. Because sometimes you face Annihilapes and they stay Annihilapes. Sometimes they turn into water and get hit with a bunch of shurikens by their partner Ninja. Then they get really angry about it and give a big punch, just like a really, really big punch. 
and it doesn't matter what you terastalize into because my power, my attack power, is like bigger than anything you've ever seen. Remember max moves? This is like two of them. Ah, angry monk. Yeah, the Chi Yu protected. They had to make a choice. Ord is Golden Go going to protect as well? No. <laughs> And of course they did that because I have a Greninja against a Chi Yu. It makes sense. Like, I get why you're doing that, but you're not the target. I am. I'm the target. For, for me. I got hit five times. That means my Rage Fist is going to be so powerful. <laughs> it's 300 power Rage Fist. Like, that's gone. It's gone. The Golden Go evaporated. It doesn't exist anymore. It's out of the party. They're going to look in their battle box later today, and they're going to see five Pokemon. What's uh, what's coming out next? What you got? And by the way, Greninja can still attack other things, right? We saw in the last one where I was like flip flopping between which Pokemon to actually attack because I had no idea which one was going to protect and which one wasn't. Uh, I can still water shuriken this Chi Yu. And I think I will. Uh, now, the only thing is, do I Water Shuriken or do I Liquidation? I think I Liquidation, right? Because even if that hits five times, that's a total of 75. Wow, that's not actually all that great. Yeah, we'll go for a Liquidation here. Because I'm pretty confident that we're faster than Chiyu. Uh, and then Rage Fist. I'm still going to attack this because it's, what, 225 base power? Right? I got hit five times, plus 50, that's 300, divided by two, that's 175, times stab is 225. That's that's gonna do a lot of damage. Heesh. Are you going to terastalize it? Oh no, you're terastalizing your Chiyu. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Into fire? Wait. Wait, hang on. That's, that's kinda spooky, right? Sucker Punch is going to hurt a bit. So is Rage Fist, though. <laughs> Pow! Okay, well, you know what? It didn't take it out. Liquidation might. Oh, so close. So, so close. Heat Wave's not going to take either of me out. Yeah, it was close on Annihilate, though. We'll say. Going to go ahead and Water Shuriken this guy right here. Rage Fist the Chi Yu. Pretty sure that my Greninja is faster than the Urshifu. Well, we won't know about that. Yeah, here's here's Greninja. Take a water shuriken. Now, if this hits two times, then I'm sad. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Great. I high rolled the second hit. This was this was stompy. <laughs> I will say there's there's still another Pokemon in the back, I think, right? This is Chi Yu and something else. I wonder if they've figured it out yet that my Annihilate is Choice Scarf. Anyway, Jane's gonna go ahead and send out the Landorus. I'm definitely faster than that Landorus, and even though I'm intimidated now, uh, both my Pokemon, I think, have <laughs> more than enough attack. More than enough attack. <laughs> Jane's a paid actor. Oh my gosh, your check is in the mail. Water Shuriken just took you right out, Chiyu. Bye-bye. I would never be like this in person. By the way, if you're ever in person playing against someone like this and you're having this kind of a time, please have a little bit of humility. But if you're sitting across the internet from somebody that you have no idea who they are, it's okay to laugh sometimes, right? Because that was, oh no. Oh no! This team rocks. I okay. You all need to get in on dance class right now by Mr. Kurtastic. Cause, oh man. Hold on. Let's let's take a look at that team one more time. Okay, we've got we've got dance class. Greninja, Annihilate, Ursaluna, Cresselia, Grimmsnarl, and Zapdos. Such a good combination. So many good uh, uh, things that you can do with this team, right? Ursaluna Zapdos, you can have uh, the whole earthquake uh, and flying thing. Uh, Ursaluna and Cresselia, you can have the whole earthquake and levitate thing. Ursaluna just by itself with guts and facades. Sometimes you crit uh, Dragonites and you take them out through their multi scale if they have it. 
Uh, might have been uh, inner focus. Who knows? Anyway, uh, <laughs> the Annihilate Grim Ninja combination is so cool <laughs> and I love it to bits. I love it to bits. Uh, thank you again to Mr. Kurtastic for showing off this team. Please, please, please go and take that team ID. Go and use that rental code down there. Uh, go and play with this team. You will not regret it. It's a very fun time. Anyway, uh, if you want to go and supply your own rental teams as well, uh, please do post your rental code and your Poke Paste over in our rental codes channel on our Discord, and I'll make sure to go and take a look at it. Maybe we'll use it. Anyway, I've been Mike and I play with two Pokemon on the field. This was a laugh riot, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.